Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We just drove into Orlando. We're gonna be at Disney World for the next week and we're gonna be doing something we've never done before. We are tent camping here at Disney's Fort Wilderness Campground. Awesome. Thanks, sir. My pleasure. Enjoy your stay. Uh -huh. So, Spanish Moss Lane. Let me see yeah. this. What you drive? Uh, let's see. We'll go straight because I don't know where I'm going. Okay, so when we arrived, we went ahead and tried to set everything up. And just as we were finishing, the rain started. And that's something normal with us is rain on every camping trip. But anyways, it didn't rain long, about 20 minutes. And after the rain settled and blew on through, Samantha and I decided it was time to go to the comfort station, freshen up a little bit. And now we are actually on our way back to the front to go pick up our golf cart so we can cruise around the fort. Need a lift? Yes. All right, well that was a load of fun. <laughs> that walk from our tent setup was a little over 15 minutes. Um, they really do say that you cannot walk the fort and I agree and it's starting to rain, crap. Um, so yeah, we're really close to the lobby. Yes. So yeah, we were really close to the lobby and we were able to walk it in about 15 minutes time. Um, we wanted, obviously we got our golf cart and we somehow found our way over to Pioneer Hall, um, we're starving. So we haven't eaten anything all day. Um, we had loads of coffee driving in last night, so we really weren't hungry, but now we're starving. So I'm not sure if we can get anything over here, but we're gonna try. So it's starting to rain. So we're gonna run over there and get out of the rain and yep. see what we can get. Okay, so we've got some food ordered at PJ's Southern Takeout. So we're just waiting on that. Uh, we're sitting out here under an umbrella while it's kind of raining. I think the rain's gonna go in just a second though. Um, but yeah, it smells really nice out here. But I wanted to mention when we picked up our golf cart, we weren't really sure where to get it. We went inside to the check-in, which we didn't even have to go in there when we checked in earlier. We just drove straight through and checked into our campsite. But um, we went in there and that was the obvious not where we would be picking up our golf cart. You just, you just go right outside the front there. Um, as you drive through, you see the golf carts and that's where the golf cart pickup was. It was super easy. He looked our reservation up and had us sign a form, told us the rules and we were, it was ours for the week. So yeah. Um, I just wanted to explain how simple it was. Um, we made the reservation ahead of time because I've heard that they sell out pretty quickly. So um, we've had this reservation for about two months. So. When we picked up our P&Js, we needed something to drink. We decided to go over Crockett's Tavern. I got a Virgin Pina Colada and Wade got a Miller Lite? Miller Lite. Miller Lite. So let's see what we got. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be mine. Ooh, that looks so good. Ooh, so I got a pulled pork. So I got a pulled pork sandwich, barbecue sauces on the side, which is great. And then there's french fries. And then Wade got, is this a, oh, it's dressed. Yeah, I knew it was dressed. Okay. It's fine. It doesn't come with anything other than okay, so. nastiness on there, so. <laughs> So I got a burger. He doesn't eat lettuce or tomatoes, so he's gonna pull that off. We're enjoying our lunch right here in front of the trading post. It's really nice out here. Currently not raining, so we're just gonna enjoy. We have finished eating and now we are headed back to our campsite. Samantha has taken over the wheels. Not by my choice. <laughs> But I'm enjoying this. Um, so we're gonna head back to the campsite. Oh, oh, big truck. truck. <laughs> head back to the campsite and show y'all our place. Okay, so we really haven't spent much time at our campsite, but we will be here all week. Um, it's kind of been off and on raining as we've mentioned, but here is our tent set up. Wade has set us up a very nice awning. It 
has a lot of holes. It's very old, but uh, it did take care of us for most of the rain. We did get some drops on us. Um, and then we have some new lights that we actually have for our new camper that we're working on. If you haven't checked those videos out yet, make sure um, to do so. That's a very interesting project that we're working on. Um, but yeah, so we're using these for this camping trip. And we have a cornhole here. I'm sure we will be playing it a ton later when we get back to just hang out for the night because we like to play cornhole. We also have some other like board games and stuff, but the campsite also comes with a nice metal picnic table. And then you've got a grill if you want to cook on it. And also this campsite will come with uh, some plugins, some hookups and water hose and the faucet. This is ours. So yeah, that's basically our setup here. It's just a nice space. Um, conversations just around the corner and it has showers and everything so yeah um we feel really comfortable here it's got some nice coverage uh, as far as trees go and um, it was really hot earlier we did we forgot to mention um, when we did that 15 minute walk to the front entrance to get our golf cart we were sweating it was so hot it was disgusting um, we came from 40 degree weather as of last night and then we came here and we did not expect that but it has gotten a little cooler since the rain has come in a couple of times um, so we're back at the campsite we're going to grab like a sweater and I think we're gonna take the golf cart back to the ferry boat um, over by the trading post and explore around the monorail area we may not even get off the boat I'm not really sure but let's go let's go check it out Look how quiet it is. Look, can we listen? Listen. <laughs> We're just waiting on the boat. Oh, I think I hear it. So peaceful out here. Oh, is that it? Yeah, it's coming. We are walking back from the contemporary, the contemporary um, to Magic Kingdom to catch a boat back to the fort. I think our exploring is done outside of our resort today. We're kind of tired, um, but we had some fun. So we rode the boat over to Magic Kingdom, got the monorail, went to the contemporary, just kind of did a little browsing in the shops and we was about to go get some water and we actually saw our friends john and corey and corey's sister taylor um so we hung out with them got some water because that's exactly what they were going to do um so yeah chit chatted with them for a little while so it's like 3 30 in the afternoon and we were up basically all night so we're tired um so i think we're just going to rest for a little while I'm really not sure what the afternoon holds for us but we will see oh my gosh so we're driving the golf cart around just checking out all the sites and look what we see this is a turkey I heard we would like just have turkeys come up on the campsites but this is pretty cool and it is Thanksgiving next week <laughs> it really is. Go hide, turkey. Oh. Alright, we're gonna let him be. But right. yeah. Thought that was pretty cool. Wow, when they said that you will see wildlife at Fort Wilderness, I mean it's only 4.30 and we have seen a turkey, many squirrels, and that was like six or seven deer. Pretty cool. Okay guys, you can tell that it is the next day. 
we're at Disney, so typically we end up doing sign-offs the next day because it's dark, we're tired, and we forget. Yep, it just runs long, <laughs> the day does. Yeah, so it was check-in day yesterday. Yes. Um, and we had absolutely no plans. We knew that we was going to eat some quick service, which we actually had the P&Js for the first time ever, yep. which was cool. Um, it was really good. It was. Yeah, and we just kind of explored. So the only thing that we had, um, like that we knew that we had to get done is check in, set up our tent space, which Wade did pretty much by himself. I organized the truck to have all of our things um, so it doesn't get chaotic during our trip. Um, and then get our golf cart. So we did a little exploring. I enjoy the the golf cart she way. She loves the golf cart. <laughs> way more than I thought I would. Um, but so um, we'll be doing lots of golf cart rides this week. Uh, yeah, so that was, it was a, su a successful day because we had absolutely zero plans and we got everything done that we wanted to, to get done. We are going to be able to do things on this trip that we always wish we could do yes. on other trips. Yeah. Because we don't have any plans, really, other than uh, a couple reservations. No. We have but... one park reservation this week. Mm -hmm. We have multiple dining reservations. And the, that's it. And the, yeah, and the other dining that we want to get done mm -hmm. um, may not take dining, but we kind of have those things kind of marked on the calendar that we can possibly do. It doesn't, we don't have to do. So we're basically going by dining. <laughs> Yep. And then the rest of the day is a free-for-all, so whatever we would like to do. So we're super excited to bring you guys along on these vlogs. It's going to be a fun one. Also, we'll be celebrating our five-year wedding anniversary later this week yep. um, in Epcot. So I hope you guys stay tuned for everything. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for following along. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye.